a long, long, long time ago, I was, I was uh, involved in journalism and I was a writer. And therefore, people used to send me things, quite a lot of things, in that vague sort of, well, not very vague, but absolutely certain expectation I'd be able to review what they were doing or find a publisher. And as you can imagine, that involved several years of crippling embarrassment because, generally speaking, I couldn't and I didn't really want to. And then this thing turned up. I mean, years after anyone who thought I was worth talking to, really. <laughs> um, and it was magnificent. I mean, a really spectacular piece of writing. It is a novel about uh, depression, among other things, I suppose. But for me, principally a novel about depression. And one of those books which I have to say, those of us who suffer on and off or permanently from depression, perhaps a book you want to be cautious about <laughs> reading at particular times. The best, the purest, the most thorough, the least self-dramatising account of depression I have ever read. I have to say, occasionally, thinking, thinking uh, this afternoon about Sylvia Plath, or even in her works, there are moments when you just think, a good slap. Um, <laughs> would have cheered, us up, cheered everything up. So here is a novel that, as far as I'm concerned, didn't make me want to slap, slap anyone. <laughs> um, again, speaking as a teacher, this is this is quite unusual. Um, <laughs> I think that's probably as much as I can say, except that I was uh, I'm a great fan of Facebook, which is possibly one of the reasons why my career has gone the way that it has. But. Uh, through Facebook, I happen to know Robert Pete, and I thought, well, I shall, I shall exploit this extremely tenuous connection. And I sent the manuscript to exactly one publisher, and it was Robert, and with a note, an extremely apologetic note saying, this is by a friend of mine, I therefore think it's brilliant, please forgive me, you'll know very soon if it isn't any good. And I had a message back the next day saying, contact details now, this is quite special uh, and it, it was nice to know that I wasn't completely self-indulgent in my love of this really extraordinary book so uh, I hope you all have bought a few copies um, <laughs> I hope you'll later go back and buy a few more copies off Amazon so Amazon know that it's happening and I hope that you will uh, recommend it and as an afterthought perhaps I hope you all read it um, perhaps several times and uh, okay. Thank you. And I didn't even pay him. That's <laughs> true. Um, I'm not going to talk for even as long as Charlie did, um, partly because I spent the whole evening getting more and more nervous, um, and so the words will come out faster and faster as I speak, so I'll calm down. I wanted to say three things. One is thank you very, very much. Um, thank you for turning out this evening. Thank you for those of you who encouraged me to go ahead and publish it when I thought it wasn't good enough. Um, thank you in particular to people who read early drafts. There are a few of you in this room. Um, thank you to Charlie for putting me in contact with Robert, obviously. Thank you, Robert, so much for reading it, loving it, coming back and saying, I want to publish this, and then also, remarkably, not wanting to edit it to shreds um, and for coming up with a fantastic cover. We went backwards and forwards over the cover for a while. Um, Robert was right, uh, and it is his cover that you, that you see. Um, thank you as well, in absentia, to my uh, old Oxford tutor, Craig Rain. He's in Venice, which was a better place to be than, than rainy London. Um, it was Craig who encouraged me to write a novel in the first place, and so I'm sorry that he's not here tonight to see it. Um, hit the world, but I send my thanks. I send my thanks to Venice. Um, a tiny bit about the book. Uh, as, as Charlie said, it is um, a lot about depression, among other things. Um, and as I was reflecting on it this week, um, by a strange coincidence of timing, um, I actually started writing the book just over five years ago. I had a huge breakdown almost exactly five years ago to the day. And so the fact that the book is coming out at this stage is, is a particularly nice one in terms of coincidental um, timings. 
there's obviously also a connection in terms of the content but more than a book about depression I wrote it to be a book about recovery from depression and so to have that trajectory in my life happening at the same time as the trajectory was sort of coming to fruition in the book is a is a really important thing for me and the final thing about the importance of the book was um for many years I was ashamed to stand up and say to people I have suffered from depression I have had breakdowns um in publishing the book I knew that I was going to have to say that out loud and that people would be very clear in seeing that in the book so actually, as part of that five year journey back to recovery, publishing this book and being able to talk about this stuff out loud is a really, really important part of that. So I hope you I'm going to stop there. Um, I hope you buy the book, read the book, <laughs> like the book, um, please review the book. Amazon reviews count for a huge amount. If you like it, please review it. If you don't like it, I also can't stop you reviewing it. Um, thank you again so, so much for coming this evening and um, enjoy the remains of the wine. Thank you. <laughs>